Hello there and welcome to today's episode. Inside this episode, we're going to be talking about the best ways to boost engagement and interaction so that you're able to build relationships faster and recruit more people. In case we're meeting for the first time, my name is Carrie Hyam. I am one of the Beach Boss Influencers. We call ourselves the Beaches. And here inside Beach Boss Influencers, we help network marketers like you make more money in less time leveraging automation and social media. Now, when it comes to live video, if you've watched any previous episodes of the Beach Boss podcast, you know that video is the most effective way to build relationships with your perfect prospects before you've ever had a face-to-face conversation with them. However, when we're first getting started in doing video and we we're doing a live video and you know we we see it go live and we're sitting there and we're talking to the camera it can be very frustrating when you don't see any eyeballs pop up when you don't have people talking to you right we're wanting to build relationships using the videos so how do we ensure that we're getting the engagement that we're getting the interaction so that we can build those solid relationships that lead to more customers and more recruits rank advancements and of course making more money inside of our businesses i'm going to be giving you three specific um points, I guess, that I'm going to be going over inside this episode. The very first thing that you want to make sure that you're doing is you want to make sure that you're connecting with the right people. Growing a targeted network is the first step to really ensuring that you're going to have engagement, not just on your live videos, but on any social media content that you are doing. Because if you're not talking to the right people, people that are interested in what you have to offer or, and, or actively seeking whatever it is that you're promoting, you're going to end up chasing a lot of people. You're going to be blocked, ignored, rejected, and we don't want to deal with any of that. So first make sure that you're connecting with the right people. And if you want to know how to do that, you can definitely check pre, you know, let go and check out previous episodes, um, of our trainings and we can help you with that. Okay. And the second thing that you're going to want to do is you want to make sure that the content that you're sharing is congruent and valuable to those people that you're connecting with. You know, you're not, if you, let's say that you are, um, you know, you're connecting with vegetarians and you're doing a, a live about meat, right? And being a carnivore, like that's not going to resonate with your audience. Now, maybe that's not the best example to use, but so many times we see this as a huge pitfall where people, all they're doing is selling, selling, selling. They do a live video and they think that that live video is meant to sell 100% of the time. And so people That's not what they're wanting to connect with you about. They want to connect with you because first off, they might be interested in whatever it is that you have to offer. But if all we're doing is selling, people don't like to be sold to. However, people love to buy, especially when they think when they are like buying it from a trusted source. So you need to become that trusted source first before You go into the heavy and hard selling. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't sell on live video. You just want to make sure that you're not, that's not the only thing that you're doing on live video. You also want to make sure that the value-based content that you're sharing is resonating with your audience. And the best way that you can do that is by making, is by evaluating, evaluate the posts that you're doing, evaluate the lives that you do, ask yourself, Do I find this valuable, right? Because usually the people that you're connecting with are people that are like you. And if you find it valuable and not, and what I mean by valuable is not like, oh, they're going to think that this is valuable because they need what I have. That's no, we want to share content that is educational, entertaining, lifestyle based. Um, I love to come from a place of education. That's what this whole uh, training episode is about, is educating you on how to do a live video. And when you become that person of influence, when you're the person that is coming from like educating your audience, they start to look to you as the go-to person, as the authority figure. That builds the know, like, and trust faster so that they're then wanting to engage with you. And that brings me to the third and last tip that I have for this episode. And that is 
ask for it. If you are not asking for your engagement for engagement multiple times throughout your live video, you're shooting yourself in the foot. You know, I want you to think to yourself, how many times am I asking for engagement? Right. And the first thing can be like when you're first doing a live video, it could be, Hey, um, you know, welcome to today's episode. Give me a drop a hashtag. If you're here live, let me know if you're watching the replay. Just asking for that kind of engagement is going to get people commenting. If you're connecting with new people and you're building no like, and trust through value-based content, it might take a little bit of time to train them to engage with you. And that's okay. So if you're doing your first, your second, your third, your fourth, or even your fifth video, and you haven't gotten engagement yet, don't sweat, evaluate, go and rewatch the video. Ask yourself, how many times did I actually ask for the engagement? You need to ask, like, you can't ask for it too much right? Think of it as a conversation that you're having between your perfect prospect, who is the camera, right? The camera that you're looking into and yourself. Think of it as a conversation. When you're having a normal conversation, you usually ask questions. It's okay to do that. And it's actually great to do that in lives, especially when you are first starting out. So if you got value, let's quickly recap. Make sure you're connecting with the right people. Make sure that you are sharing value-based content for those right people. And then make sure that you are asking for the engagement. And if you start to do these three things, I can guarantee you that you're going to end up with more engagement, more interactions on those live videos, and not just your live videos, but your content that you're sharing in general, which is going to result in more leads, more sales, more uh, teammates, which then leads to rank advancements and more money in your pocket. So if you got value, let me know below. And if you want our help, if you want Beach Boss Influencers help on how to grow your business, leveraging social media automation, uh, make sure that you click the link. There's going to be a link somewhere above, below, to the side of the video, depending on where you're watching this. Definitely grab that. It could even, I mean, if you're watching it on Instagram, go and check out our bio, right? Like we have content everywhere. Simply wherever you're watching this video, click the link, go and grab it. You won't be disappointed. We're excited to help you fast track your results in your business, and we will see you on the next episode. Mm -hmm.